I'm the national coordinator for Lady Liberty League. Um, and my job for, for a number of years has been to resolve religious discrimination cases. And I work basically on the front lines, um, taking on all kinds of cases, child custody cases, um, people who get thrown out of their apartment because somebody learns their Wiccan, um, actual court cases where you know, a state is determining whether Wiccan has rights, or, or, and, and this includes other pagans besides Wiccans. Um, I'm using that term more generically. Um, I would go testify in court and things like that. Um, I'm a both state and court uh, and federal court recognized uh, expert on Wicca and on paganism in general, and so um, I've testified for a number of different court hearings. I think there's some really important things for people to know and understand in relationship to this. First of all, it's been an incredible battle for many, many years, about 50 years now, of Wiccans battling to be able to treat, be treated equally and to have the basic rights guaranteed us by our Constitution. Um, even myself personally, I've had my house firebombed and I've had other people's houses burned down and people beaten, you know, with baseball bats. Had the police drag us around by our hair and, you know, many different things like that just because we're Wiccan. And we've come from that to really coming into the mainstream. I mean, um, you know, two pagans, both Wiccan in, in this case, were honored at the Parliament of the World's Religions where the religious leaders from 75 countries came together and honored them. Um, we are currently, there is a pagan religion section in the American Academy of Religion that is now a bona fide regular part of uh, the American Academy of Religion and there are scholars studying pagan, you know, uh, pagan writings and ritual and things like that to try to understand more about them. So one thing I want everybody to know is that we've come a really long ways. We've made it a long ways, but there are still a lot of hoops that Wiccans have to jump through that no one else does. And what people really need to do is become educated about Wicca. And they also um, need to really understand the bottom line point or value that's getting weighed here when you're looking at Wiccans or anyone else. And that is, is that our Constitution gives us certain rights. And those rights say that we must honor the inherent dignity of each and every human being, that we must treat all people with equality, that there has to be equality in religion, and that the government can't mix itself and try to establish religion. And most all of the Wiccan discrimination cases involve situations where the government is trying to establish religion, like they're saying Wicca can't practice, but Christianity can. When they do that, they are establishing that Christianity is a government-supported religion, a government-sanctioned religion, and Wicca is not. And as soon as they do that, they're violating the Constitution. I think the average people on the street need to know that our, all of our freedoms are based on the concepts that we have freedom of religion and that you know, the government can't do these kind of things. And in a lot of cases, individuals can't do them either. Many of the things that are done to Wiccans today in discrimination are now fall under the um, designation as hate crimes, and they're serious crimes. Another example which is common uh, is Department of Children's Services shows up at someone's house who's Wiccan and takes their children away because a neighbor has reported that they're Wiccan. And the evidence that they use to take the children away is this, they have, uh, you know, the spiral dance by Starhawk and, you know, they've got crystals and candles and a pentacle and stuff like that. And so with no evidence that there's any abuse or anything else going on in relationship to it, just the fact that they have the basic things that we use in our religion all the time that are commonplace things and there's, there's common and have as much value in it and are as valid as like the Bible or a chalice in, in a, or a censer in a Catholic church. I have a guy um, who um, had three heart attacks. He was Wiccan 
and I'm his Wiccan chaplain, his official chaplain. He was a prisoner in the Department of Corrections. And so they sent guys over to tell him that he wasn't going to make it and they wanted to harvest his organs. And so he, he asked to be able to have me, his chaplain, come and give him some kind of last rites, do a ritual for his passing. And uh, the state of California came back and told him he could only have last rites from a Protestant or a Jew, but he could not have last rites as a Wiccan. So if he's Wiccan and he's going to die, he's denied one of the oldest sacramental kind of rites, I mean, known to mankind, to humankind, the ability to have someone give you last rites, they take away from him.